is another September the 7th, which makes it another day to create awareness about the significance of air quality. Every year, people die from diseases brought about by air pollution, a trend that has become a great concern in nearly all the places on the earth. Plus TV Africa, Ngozika Hochesi looks at the issue of air pollution in Nigeria. Clean air, free from dust and smoke, is an essential requirement for human beings and all life on earth. Unfortunately, industrialization has polluted our air and water sources heavily, leading to health disorders. The International Day of Clean Air for Blue Skies is marked on September the 7th annually to create awareness about the significance of air quality. Environmentalist Desmond Majikudumi explains what we can do to keep our skies clean and blue. Do you know that over 4 to 5 million people around the world die every year because of air pollution? There are obvious things that we have to do, and that is to enforce laws that do not allow machinery to be blowing black, dirty smoke into the air, whether it's a generator, whether it's a bus, whether it's a car, we must stop this immediately. It has to be against the law because you're compromising people's lives. Air pollution is a major problem in River State, where soot rests on the walls of buildings and residents sometimes stores the flaky substance in the air. The soot problem had led to chronic respiratory, skin and heart diseases. Eugene Abel, who lives in Port Harcourt, could barely stay in his house. I shut down before the pandemic became I drink out of March. Last year I shut down. So I was sick for almost seven months. Not getting well, no particular thing, no particular I wasn't caught the COVID positive. So I think our immune system has the highly at least for those of us who need in Port Harcourt. So it was no surprise. We warned about it, but just so far when there was a major outbreak in Bonnie, and then the only had to so. A medical doctor, Bayer Briggs, explained how deadly soot can be on human organs. The red blood cells have a higher affinity for carbon than for oxygen. Once this carbon, for any reason, finds itself at the alveolar species, instead of red blood cells to pick up oxygen, they will dump oxygen and pick up the carbon and cause what we call carboxy hemoglobin. This carboxy hemoglobin gets right into the cells of our body and begins to damage our cells. The suit problem in River State had led to protests in the past. Globally, the United Nations is calling for strong international cooperation for research and collection of data about air quality and to find solutions to air pollution. For Plus TV Africa, Ngozika Ohaechesi. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.